hello what's going on you're watching see create so in this tutorial we're going to learn the linear animation we're going to deal with position and scale properties so let's write something you can write anything it's not necessary um, let's increase the size a bit looks good to me okay so as is it we're just going to deal with position and scale these two properties so this is just a basic animation uh, you're going to just put the keyframe here and drag the text out of the screen let's go to the one second and put it back on the screen um, okay so this is what you have done if you see the screen play this is what we want okay uh, likewise you can send it there and put it back on the screen so this is it if you move forward and try to displace it vertically so we're going to do the same put a keyframe move it up move it up then move it down likewise okay so if I wanted to hold the position for some keyframes what I'm going to do just click here this little keyframe icon just click here and then I will move to some second let's say 15 frames and then I will go down and after one second exactly I'm going to put it back on the screen so this is what I've done see it came down it stayed for a time see it stayed for some time on the screen before it's going down if you remove just this keyframe see what's going to happen see it's not stopping so we put the keyframe to hold it looks good so this is basic animation okay let's move forward some scale properties get a new layer Increase the size a bit looks good so before I start this I just want to tell you that scale property is directly dependent on your pivot point so this is your pivot point you can see how to move this point right here is just press the Y on the keyboard or just drag this pen behind anchor point tool so drag it anywhere you want and you will see that the scale property moves accordingly so if I put a keyframe here move this keyframe forward so if I decrease it to zero it vanishes and now it will pop up like this because you can see the keyframe here with 100 value okay so you can see it's coming from the point where my anchor point is so basically if I put a, another keyframe here but this time I'm going to change the position of anchor point so let's marry it to zero again now see what will happen okay so it's going down like that so it pops from like see see scale property work on the anchor point wherever your anchor point is it will work accordingly so let's create something out of it Position if I want the position to be revealed at one, 
and likewise for the keyframe and scale okay so we are just going to uh, animate position and scale we're not going to make this complicated okay so this is just basic animation so put keyframes of position and scale and this is a this is what I want so I want it to move from bottom and the scale of let's say 20 okay you can move the keyframes like this also by selecting them so this is all depends on your creativity the way you want so this is just a simple animation okay one thing you can do more you can see the pop-up effect uh, in some videos in especially promo videos so you can do this pop-up effect as well by yourself uh, so I've animation ending at one second 17 frames so I'm just going to put a keyframe here but I will increase the position so we have 100 here so to have a pop effect it should have value more than 100 let's go with 115 okay so um, now you can see this if you play it looks good to me uh, one more thing you can do so selecting these keyframes and press F9 on keyboard by pressing F9 you have turned these keyframes into easies uh, what does it impact on your animation see it's now more subtle more cool more smooth but I can say more it's more smooth now see looks good to me so this is just a simple animation I hope you guys like it we just play with position and scale uh, the more you spend time on it the more you will learn we will go through more detailed text animation this is one of the videos of our playlist of text animation in Adobe After Effects so I hope you guys like it and keep watching CK8 thank you so much take care